Hey everyone, how you doing? If you are new here, I'm Nicole Concilio and welcome to the video, y'all. <laughs> Gotta drink my water. Also, I know there's some weird schmutziness going on with the lights back here. Don't mind it, I'm sorry. I tried to cover it up, but it's just because today's video, I need an extension cord and that's why it looks like that. I hope everybody's doing good and I bet y'all are wondering why I look like a wet dog. It is because today I am gonna be testing out the Dyson Airwrap Verse the Revlon One Step. Now, when I did a little hair tutorial up on my IGTV, all the hairstylists came out and were screaming at me for doing my hair and doing this and that and that and you're gonna kill your hair and blah, 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 blah. Listen, I take very good care of my hair. I live in Los Angeles. I have access to like amazing doctors and estheticians and hair people and stuff like that. I know what I'm doing. And of course my hair is prepped with freaking every heat protectant you could use in the world, every leave-in conditioner, frizz control. Like, I'm set, I'm solid, okay? So I don't wanna see anything in the comments about me damaging my hair. I've had it up to here with those comments. Like, literally, that is what triggers me the most. A lot of people were in my comments like, oh, why would you use the Dyson? You could just get the Revlon one step for like $30. So I was like, oh my God, you know what? That's actually a pretty good video idea. Let's compare it and see the differences and see how it works. Is it like a good enough dupe to go up against the Dyson? Um, I also want to say that there's nothing wrong with wanting to use a Dyson and there's nothing wrong with wanting to use Revlon. Honestly, just let people use what they want to use at the end of the day. I know a lot of people were coming at me for using my Dyson too, but I bet a lot of you didn't know that Dyson actually has technology in it where if it gets too hot or feels like your hair is getting damaged, it will shut off. Like it literally knows it's you are paying for a good quality product there with a Dyson. But that being said, because I feel like a lot of people were shaming me for using my Dyson and I'm like, leave me alone. I'm not telling you to go buy it. Like, sh my hair is damp right now, it's frizzy, like I have product in it, so it's in the perfect condition to get it going for some heat. This is literally my first time even opening up this bad boy. It's got a cool tip, oval design, unique airflow, lightweight, blah, 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 blah. Actually, my sister swears by this. My sister used my Dyson when I went to visit her and she was like, I can't tell the difference, but I'm just like, hmm, let me see if I can tell. Jeez. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like people wrap stuff like crazy. Like, Madonna me. So this right here is what the Dyson looks like. She's big. So this is what the Dyson looks like. This is what the Revlon looks like. The Revlon is a lot thicker, obviously. Like, she tick. The thing I will say with the Dyson, obviously you have a different attachments, but I just picked the attachment that I felt like was the best for this one because I don't really like roll my hair. Like I just wanna do simple, 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 simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the left side of my hair with the Revlon and the right side with the Dyson. I'm gonna first start off with the Revlon and we have some settings down here. Cool, low, high, I probably would wanna use high. So basically this guy is claiming on the box here, I'm reading right off the box. It's got a gentle oval design, smoothing edges, tangle free, nylon pin bristles with a comfortable round tip, quickly detangable, uh, unique vents, multiple settings. I mean, it's just got cool, low, and high, so. And it's got a four year warranty, so that's pretty nice. Let's brush out my hair and kind of get it going into sections on how I like to. Oh God, I micro needled my head last night cause it's supposed to help with hair growth and oh my God, it is sensy boy today, it's sensitive. Riley and I have this kind of thing we do to each other. If I think that he's being sensitive, I'll call him a sensy guy. I'm like, you're being sensy guy right now. And then he'll call me a sensy girl. So yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna zoom you guys on out so we can get the best view of this and I'm just gonna go at it and see. So for this part, I'm obviously not gonna be able to do much talking. I'm just gonna use the product and see how this goes. Oh, 
Also, before you guys come for me and tell me I'm using this wrong, I am an average everyday consumer when it comes to hair. Okay, so I'm doing it the way that I would just do it if I was in my bathroom and kind of in a rush and had to go. I think I'm doing it the majority way that most people would do. If you're a hairstylist watching, I'm sorry if this is incredibly cringy for you. You don't have to watch. <laughs> no, but seriously, I'm just doing it the way that I wanna do it, so get over it. And the reason I'm being extremely defensive is because whenever I do anything in regards to my hair, people just love to tell me what I'm doing wrong. And I've kinda had it, cause hair is a little bit triggering for me. So yeah, sorry. Okay, so it took me five minutes in total, I was timing myself, to do this side. And I gotta say, I'm a little bit impressed. I didn't think this was gonna work for me at all, especially because I do have a hair extensions. I was like, I don't know if it's gonna get caught in this. It actually did do a good job. Now that I'm running my fingers through it, I do feel like there is a little bit more damp spots, so I might just try to get that before we do this side. But overall, like, pretty good. And this is the first time I'm using it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get some of those. Okay, so I think it's safe to say that this side of my hair is dry now and is looking pretty good. It feels smooth. So I'm actually kind of like shook. Look at how hot my ear is. <laughs> It does smell like burning plastic, so that kind of makes me a little bit worried, but I am impressed. My hair isn't like frizzy or anything weird like that, so yeah. All right, let's move on to the Dyson. So with the Dyson, I have the attachment in that moves, that's able to give you a flip if you wanted to do a flip. They also do have the brush attachment where you can go like this. However, I'm not really good at using the brush attachment, so I'm gonna just use this guy, because this is the one I use the most. So I think it's probably best to compare it to the one I use the most. These are kind of bristles like this. If you compare them to the Revlon, you can kind of see that there are some like wet brush bristles in there. This doesn't have that. This is just more of a regular like hairbrush type of vibe. I do feel like with this one, you probably would be able to use with your hair soaking wet. Whereas like with the Dyson, I normally just brush out my hair first and then go into it. So I do feel like that's kind of like maybe a little bit of a difference cause of the bristles, you know? So with the Dyson, you can adjust the fan. You can do one, two, three, and you can control the heat. I usually keep it on medium heat. I love that the most. If I'm doing something and my hair is being really incooperative, I'll move it up to the highest heat. You could do cool. It's easy to clean. You just clean it right there. I'm like, loving using the Dyson, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Especially since I know about that technology, about it turning off when your hair is damaged, you know, like, I like that and I like the idea of that, especially because your girl's got extremely damaged hair. And you know what, it's not even that my hair is damaged, it's like thin and brittle if anything, you know, like. All right, so let's get going with my Dyson. Oh, and if you're ever interested in like how the attachments come off, you just pull the lock down and it just locks right back in. It's like super easy. All right, let's go. Oh, also one thing I forgot to mention was I specifically wanted the Revlon to do my left side because my left side is normally the side that gives me the most problems. So I wanted to see how it would do against that. Ok, 
Okay, you guys, so the Dyson side is done. Don't mind the frizz on top of my hair. <laughs> God, I don't know why I have such bad frizzy hair in the back. Okay, so we have the Revlon side and the Dyson side. And I have to say to you guys, like, I'm seriously shook because you can't tell which side is which. Like, you genuinely can't. Like... I thought the Revlon was gonna be trash. Literally, I was like, haha, this will be a funny trash video. No, like, it did a damn good job. I'm gonna actually FaceTime my sister. Let me see if she answers first. I wanna see if she can tell. Hey! Okay, gee, so I just filmed with the Dyson and the Revlon, and I wanted to see if you could tell which side was which. Okay, I think that the Revlon is, left. what is that, her left, your left side. How did you know? I could tell Revlon? it's like curled. Okay. The Revlon looks better, if I'm being honest. Yeah, like, really? Dyson, did you just use the hair dryer or the swirl? I just used the comb part. Oh. Yeah, that's why. You need the, the twist on it. Yeah, yeah, you can tell. But, mm -hmm. like, besides that, could you tell, like... No. No, right? It's, like, the same quality? Yeah. But yeah, I could yeah. just tell because of the flip of your little tiny bang in the front. Okay, well, if the bang was back... <laughs> yeah, I would have been able to tell. <laughs> Yeah, you could like your layers are more pronounced. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so do you feel like the Revlon's ever burned your hair? Not at all. No? No. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> I'm done. Is she going to be in your YouTube video now? <laughs> yeah, she's going to be in it. <laughs> so you feel like it's safe though, G? 100%, and it doesn't even pull on my extensions, and I have tape in, so those come out easily. Yeah, those come out easier than the keratins. All right, yep. well, that's all I needed to know. My sister was at work with a friend of hers that likes me, so sorry that was a little distracting. <laughs> no, okay, so guys, you really, like, I'm shook. The only thing that I will say about the Revlon that scared me was the smell. Like, I would definitely recommend using it on, like, either the low setting or the cool setting because the smell kind of scared me a little bit. But I think, shit, if you can't afford the Dyson, definitely the Revlon is a dupe, like hands down. And you also were able to cover a lot more hair with the Revlon. I'm shook. I'm really, 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 really shook. Like, I, I didn't think Gina was gonna be able to tell either. She was like, oh yeah, I could tell that you did that because it was flipped. Yeah, you guys, I'm really shook at this right now. The Revlon is $35 that I got off of Amazon and the Dyson is almost 500. So I would definitely say if you cannot afford the Dyson, go for the Revlon, baby girl. Like, wow, I'm shook. Like, you really cannot tell. Obviously, like, you know, Dyson, you are paying for the quality. You're paying for the ability to change the heads, the attachments. You're paying for the technology behind it. It's faster. Like, this side of my hair only took me about 2 minutes and 50 seconds to blow dry, whereas this one, I think it was about 4 minutes, 5 minutes. So it is faster and it does have like really good technology, but honestly, dude, it's a great ass dupe. Like I'm all about stuff that makes doing your hair more fun because I hate doing my hair. Like I hate it. So the Revlon and the Dyson definitely makes me excited and want to do my hair, if you know what I'm saying. So yeah, I hope this video was educational for you guys. I hope you found it like informative. And I do also like that there is a warranty on the Revlon. That's kind of cool to me. So yeah, sh yeah, if you can't afford the Dyson, go for the Revlon. That's a great ass dupe. I mean, I'm still gonna use my Dyson, don't get me wrong, but I probably will travel with the Revlon because I won't be upset if let's say my luggage gets lost or like if it gets damaged or whatever because it's only like $30 compared to like almost 500. So I definitely do see like myself still continuing to use the Dyson and don't shame me for wanting to use it, okay? This is just to help you guys and also like I'm excited. Like I want to I'm going to travel with that puppy now. Hell yeah. I love you guys so much. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing. Leave me a comment down below. Which one do you like better? Do you like your Dyson better? Do you like your Revlon better? Are you gonna get the Revlon? Are you gonna get the Dyson? What's your tea? I wanna know. But I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.